happy Monday. What is up? I am looking rough, but we're here at the coffee that they accidentally put cream in, so hopefully I don't die. Nails falling off. We are really, really doing great here. And it's currently Monday, and I am back home in Connecticut. Um, I'm also on my way back up to the Cape, so I've literally been here for like not even 24 hours. I came home yesterday for my papa's birthday, and it was great to see family and like, just spend time with everyone. So that was really, really great. I ended up staying home last night just because I had like driven to dinner and then it would have been like another two and a half hours back to the Cape. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay for the night and then head back in the morning. It's much later than I wanted to leave. It's like almost 2.30, but it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just like <clears throat> stressing myself out because as you guys know, I've like started my like new upload schedule, but I've had all of these like brand collabs set up and also just like videos that like I want to film like myself and I've like ordered products and stuff and like shipping is so messed up right now. Like everything is coming in late and it's like totally, totally, totally messing up everything. So just praying that that gets fixed kind of soon. Yeah, that's what's up. I'm supposed to like be uploading my Monday with Mandy today. I wanted to get back earlier today so I could like film it and get it up. And I just, that's just not gonna happen right now because it's like 2.30. So, I mean, I might do it for tomorrow or just like, I don't know, upload the next week. I, it's, I'm driving myself nuts. And like, it's like partially me, but it's also like I literally can't film if I don't have the things I need to film. So, just, annoyed and um my package that i've been waiting for for fashion friday for the past two weeks says it's supposed to be delivered today but it still says it's in a different country so that's looking really good on my part yeah and it already is like so late like it was supposed to come two weeks ago love that for me I am currently waiting. I just like kind of cleaned my car a little bit. Don't get a light colored dog with dark car interior, especially like cloth interior. It just sticks to everything and it's driving me nuts. So I vacuumed out my car. My dad is just like checking the oil and like my tires and everything. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna head out. So Evan is still at the Cape with Tino and Billy. So it's just me. So we're gonna have a little jam session back up, catch up on, well, listen to today's episode of That's So Sabotage. And I'm kind of excited for it. It was like kind of like a fun ride back, even though, you know, it's like kind of a long ride. I just like jammed, put on some music. It was so good. If you guys are into country and you haven't heard Ernest's new album or just like any of his music, so good i feel like it's such feel good music like you don't even have to i feel like know the songs to like enjoy them and i feel like that's almost like hard you know what i'm saying like for me at least i want to like know every word to a song like i feel like to fully enjoy it and because you just don't even need to it's so good so def recommend okay i just wanted to catch you guys up say good morning start this vlog because i feel like i always forget to start the vlog early at the start of the week so hello we're gonna crush it this week it's so nice out today. It's so nice. It says it's only 39. That's like total BS. No, now it says 46. That's more like it. Oh, 48 where I'm headed. <laughs> okay, I decided to say hi and welcome to the vlog. I hope you enjoy this week. Hi guys, we're at the Cape now. Mr. T is here and he's freaking out for a nugget. Hey, you licked my sandwich. You just came to Wendy's because Evan doesn't need anything. He's been working all day. It's just hot. It wasn't hot yesterday. And I haven't eaten anything like all day. So we're here. We got Wendy's. I got a chicken sandwich. Tina got nuggies. <laughs> we're gonna dig in before the Bachelor finale. I'm so excited.
Wow. How many St. Patty's Day? Look at you, festive boy. Are you Irish? Are you Irish? It's like you know. Wow. Wow. Say happy St. Patty's Day, T. You little cutie. You need your eyes wiped. Happy St. Patty's Day, T. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's Thursday. I started my morning not good. I never start on TikTok in the morning, like ever. And for some reason I did, and it was the biggest mistake I could have ever made. I saw the saddest video ever and started my day with a good cry, so. I haven't vlogged for the past couple of days. I came back here on Monday, as you guys had seen, and Bachelor Finale was on basically by the time that I got back. Tuesday, my brother was coming up, so I just wanted to tidy up and, you know, get everything ready for him to come. So that's what we did. Tuesday and then he came up bachelor finale 2.0 so and then Wednesday I could not sleep at all the night before and so I really got nothing done yesterday I was not happy about it but at night I ended up um, starting to edit a vlog so that's gonna go up today for you guys I just have to like finish it off and I'm hoping to get some filming done today as well really really worried that I was gonna wake up feeling really sick because I was kind of not feeling great yesterday I'm not perfect but I also feel like that uh, cry has a little bit to do with it. We're doing all right. We took some meds yesterday and I think that they might have helped. So happy with about that, obviously. Um, I ran to Target yesterday just because I was like out of the necessities, deodorant and coffee creamer, basically. They didn't have my creamer, so I was really upset because I've been missing it, but they had one that's like the same idea, but it's hazelnut latte. So we're gonna see if I like it. The first coffee I like ever had was hazelnut. So. I don't think I like the smell of it. I don't think I like the smell of it. We'll see. taste anything honestly not bad definitely could be much worse I swear this cream is just really good I don't know if they have any other flavors if you're new here I usually get the Starbucks non-dairy it's um, almond milk and oat milk combined I'm typically not an oat milk fan but I really really like this creamer and I usually get the caramel macchiato and this is hazelnut latte but it is really good give it a shot but right now I'm just gonna drink my coffee and kind of plan out what I'm doing today because there's a couple different videos that I realistically want to try and get filmed I think my package that I've been waiting for for it's been 15 days past since it was supposed to be delivered. I think it's finally out for delivery today, so we'll see about that. And that stuff is for Fashion Friday, today's Thursday, so realistically, I would like to get that video filmed today so I don't have to stress about it tomorrow, but worst comes to worst, I can plan or film like some other videos today um, and then just do that one early tomorrow if I get everything like laid out, planned tonight. I also need to finish editing that vlog. I'm feeling really tired. Hopefully this coffee wakes me up because I'm just not, not feeling it. Updates on that, but I'm gonna sit here and kind of wake up for a minute and then get into today. Guess what time it is. My package is finally here. We're gonna do a little unboxing. Tino just flipped out the delivery guy. At least there will never be an intruder. <laughs> Because, well, we'll know if there is, I should say. Okay, so I just got a couple like cheap little accessories. I'll have everything 
linked if you guys are interested and you'll see them in fashion friday video as well these are very good after waiting t oh how cute oh i don't think i knew it was gonna have writing on it why does it only have one handle <laughs> Wait, what? okay maybe i'm not supposed to use the handle it's just for looks i don't know that's weird that that only has one handle okay so i got this little blue bag kind of like a little mini jack moose and it has an across the body strap i got this to go with like some of my blue stuff obviously Ooh, cute okay i've been wanting some like sneakers with green on them and i was gonna get the reebok ones but then i like wasn't sure after like wanting them for literally like a year if they were exactly what I like wanted. Cause I feel like I want to wear like higher socks with them. My hair is just, I'm gonna hate this whole clip because what is going on? I felt like maybe I couldn't have worn like the higher socks with them and I felt like these were really cute. So, so cute, excited to wear those. I feel like these are gonna be like my new everyday shows. Oh, okay. Well, mm, this one's not. I feel like the greatest, but all this stuff is really cheap. So this little circular little baby, tiny, light blue. I had like outfits planned for all of these, but it's literally been so long that I don't even know <laughs> what the vision was anymore, but I have um, them all in like Canva outlines. So also very cheap. <laughs> I got this for, I do know why. And I think it's in here. I swear, if everything is not in here. Oh, okay, no, the box is deep. What? Oh, those are kind of sick. Right. Those are New Balance? No. Did <laughs> you say that? <laughs> new fashion. A it's like what a New Balance tag looks like. Yeah. I was really excited about this one, so I hope it doesn't disappoint me. Uh, it's kind of squished. Uh, Mm. Mm. It's not really giving what I thought it was going to give. It's all right. Maybe it'll be better once it's not squished. This is quite interesting. Okay. So it's this little mini little circle bag thing. But then I think I have to like lace the strap. I don't know, man. I'm gonna need to look at picture. I need picture instructions. This is the top that this little number is for. Feather is really in. Dopamine dressing is really in. This is really wrinkled, but I think it'll be cute when it's not really wrinkled. It's like a satiny top with little feather sleeves. Again, you'll see all this styled on Fashion Friday. So excited. This one I'm excited about as well. Again, everything's a little squished. This, that's a, definitely a downfall. Um, and I think it should have like a little, little chain. And it's kind of like a rose gold. Um, I don't know. For the price of all of this, I literally cannot be complaining one bit. What is this? What is that? <laughs> why is it so tiny? Why is it like Billy sized? It's supposed to be tiny, but it would be nice for like a like a little like girl. Like a, if you gave it to like body. a little like toddler. <laughs> okay, um I forgot I got like a little top. It's kinda like a mint green color. So we'll see. That's coming still. The last thing, this is interesting packaging for Please. Sorry, Bill. It's not food, honey. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Well, it doesn't ma match. Perfect. <laughs> and they're a little squished. But I got these little, like, sandal mule heel things to go with this top. I mean, it's not identical, but if they're on my feet and this is up here, it'll probably be fine. I don't know. We're going to let this all like lay out to unsquish. And then we'll see how we feel about it in Fashion Friday. OK, 
Okay guys, it's a little bit later. I've just been finishing editing this vlog. It's a little bit of a mess, but it is what it is. Um, I just reheated some food because last night when we got dinner, I got like soup and clam strips. And they gave me so many clam strips and it was more soup than I expected it to be. So I didn't finish. So like I have a whole nother meal here. We just reheat some clam strips. I have like four minutes of my video left to watch back before it's ready for upload. It's a gross day out. It's already 3 30. I literally, like, literally, how I swear to God, I thought it was like 12. Um, so that's looking really good for me. The sun does set later now, though, so that's good. I might be able to film at least one video. I just wanted to update you guys. Hi, guys. Uh, it's a little bit later. I just finished filming my eyelash extensions video. I'm literally obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm so excited for you guys to see this. The process was so quick and easy. Like for my first time, I can't even believe it. The next time I do it, it's gonna take me like five minutes, not even, like no joke. Unreal, so excited. So, can you guys see that? It's actually probably already up by the time you guys are seeing this video because this video should go up Wednesday. That video is probably gonna go up Monday. So go check it out if you haven't already. I'm obsessed. If you don't have time to go check it out and you just want to check them out, I'll link them down below. And you can use my code, I am Amanda Louise Pro Lash 10 for 10% off. Amazing. I have finally my little St. Patty's Day outfit on. I am going to go try on those sneakers that I showed you guys earlier. Um, because they go with this outfit, obviously. And we're gonna try them on. Let's do it. There's a squeaking pig. Where is the squeaky pig? And there's a squeaking pig! We'll be right back, Bill. A squeaking pig! Wow, he's handsome. He's handsome. Hi, I love you. I love you. Wow. Wow. Bill, you want some witties? Who likes the salad? Billy likes the salad, right? You do like a salad, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> right here likes salad too for some reason. I think he just likes it because his brother likes it. But he likes it. Weirdo. Okay, chill. Okay. Here's the little St. Patty's Day fit. The shoes are like really comfy. I'm like really pleasantly surprised. And they're cute. We just need a little jacket and then Ready to go. We just got dinner. Twice baked potato. My favorite thing like literally ever. Mac and cheese. Pastrami. Let's dig in, man. Hello, friends. Wow, I'm gonna love these lash extensions because it looks like I have my makeup done right now and I don't. I love this for me. So, it's currently almost midnight. We ate. Did I show you what we ate? Yeah, you did. Okay, I did. I was gonna say I meant to, but then I wasn't sure if I followed through. Um, and then we watched the UConn game and they lost. I don't wanna talk about it. It was a stressful game, to say the least. We both had chest pain afterwards. So that's fun and then yeah that's that's kind of it you know just some and yeah yeah that's it i'm gonna take my nightly smorgasbord of medications and we're gonna head to bed i have to film my fashion friday video tomorrow and upload it so I wanna get up somewhat early-ish because we're also going to attempt to go home tomorrow night because I can say this because it's not gonna be up yet. My grandma's birthday was on Wednesday. 
and I wanted to go home for it, but I just had so much work that I needed to get done, and so I, I just like couldn't. But we are having a kind of surprise birthday for her on Saturday. I don't know which medications I took and which ones I did, so remind me to not vlog and do that again. Tina thinks I'm talking to someone on the phone. He's like looking at me like, who are you talking to? So basically my mom's side has been, I mean, all of my family has been pretty cautious throughout all of COVID, but my mom's side has been like very, very cautious. And so we literally have not like celebrated a holiday together at all. We only celebrated my grandpa's 80th birthday and my cousin's wedding and that's it. That's the only time I've seen my family for like the past however many years it's been since COVID started. So, um, it's kind of a big deal for us. Very excited um, to see everyone. Hopefully everyone is there. Um, I think everyone should be. So going home for that. Um, so I'm very, very excited to see everyone. And yeah, it should be a fab day. So I would realistically like to go home tomorrow night so I'm not like stressed driving home Saturday morning and then like having to go straight there and just like, it's not worth stressing over, but it also is not stressing over leaving tomorrow night if it's just like not gonna happen. So updates come, I'll take you guys along. Yeah. Gucci night, happy St. Patty's Day. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys know that I say that. I don't even think Evan knew that I said that. I don't know why, but I always say Gucci night to my family instead of good night. Like for the past, I don't even know how many years I always say Gucci night, like never good night. Gucci night, see you in the morning. Friday. It's Friday afternoon. I've been up for a bit. We have the coffee going as you guys saw. I took a shower and then I just ran over to the post office. I knew I had one package there but there were two and so I figured we'd do another little unboxing. I feel like I didn't show you guys two of my other PR packages that I got this week that like I was literally obsessing over. I posted them on my Instagram so if you follow me over there at I'm Amanda Louise you saw but I got a package from Dermalogica and from Necessaire, like two literally dream brands to receive packages from. I'm literally obsessed with all the products. I'll show you guys after, and like I'm sure I'll include them in like a routine video and stuff like that. I have never like, I'm sure you guys know, I've talked about it in the past. I'm so bad about like moisturizing like my whole body and like I'm just like, I feel like I'm lazy because I need to enjoy the process and if I'm not enjoying the process, like I literally just will not do it. The Necessaire products are literally revolutionary. I got a body wash, which smells amazing. I got the sandalwood scent, so good. And then I got their body serum and their body lotion. Unreal, like my skin has never felt so good. I've used it every day since they sent it to me. When I got the package, I literally went back and showered again so I could use them. Like that's how excited I was to um, try them out. So 10 out of 10 recommend. And then Dermalogica, I got like a pre-cleansing like foam wash, which is amazing. I've been wanting to try one for the longest time where it basically just like melts your makeup off instead of doing like a makeup Remover wipe, I've been trying to get away from that. I've been using like Meissler water, but this is like so good. And then there's like another cleansing um, face wash thing that my skin felt so clean and so good. So that's that. I have two packages here, one from Ana Luisa and one from Pharmacy. It's like literally Christmas here this week. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're gonna do Little Ana Luisa unboxing first. I'm so excited to see. I like pick stuff out, but I picked them out like so long ago that like I don't remember what I got. So I'm really excited. Oh my God, this is so stinking cute. First, we have this little chain, this little like cross. It's so, if you can't tell. It's so dainty and cute. Are we kidding? I'm pretty sure I got all necklaces because I wanted to do, oh yeah. You guys know these flat chains are like my favorite ever. I'm literally wearing another one from them right now. And I just, you can never have too many. You can never have too many. And I feel like they look so nice stacked and 
And then this final one, oh, I'm so excited. The um, inspiration behind this necklace stack was Hailey Bieber. Ugh. Kidding. Troll. My jaw just dropped. Troll. We're gonna go ahead and put it on because I'm so excited. I just feel like her jewelry just always looks so like nice. And so I was doing some research and I wanted to try and recreate her little necklace stack. So these two are also from Ana Luisa. I'm obsessed. Can't say enough good things. I wear them literally every day. Hi, Tino. Do you want a necklace? Should we get you a Valentino necklace? No. You don't want a Valentino necklace? You don't? But that's your name. So stinking cute. I don't know which length I'm gonna want all of these at. I'm just kind of putting them on like the middle class, but they're all different lengths, so it's nice. Oh my God, I'm a Okay. I'm obsessed. Look how cute. I love how these are like all different lengths and they all like layer so nicely together. Are we kidding? I think Haley would approve. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sending these over. You guys are gonna see these 24 seven. They will never be coming off. I will link everything down below. Shop Anna Luisa. I am just obsessed. It's also the perfect time to start thinking about Mother's Day. There's some really amazing things that you can get your mom for Mother's Day. Really, really cute stuff. I'm definitely gonna be picking something up for my mom as well. And I believe their Mother's Day sale is going to be starting very soon. So I will keep you guys updated on that, on all my socials. You know the drill. Thank you, Anna Louisa. I'm so excited. Okay, next we have Pharmacy. I'm really excited. This is the product that I specifically went to the post office for because I knew it was in. I didn't put anything on my face yet because I wanted to try this. If you guys have watched me for a little bit, uh, you would probably know that I love vitamin C serums. They make such a huge difference in my skin. It's like one of the only products I've ever actually seen a difference with using it and when I don't use it. So, Pharmacy sent over their 10% waterless vitamin C serum. It brightens, targets dark spots, and I'm so thrilled to try this out. I think it might be new because I tried to find it on their site and I couldn't, so I'm thinking it's new. So I'm really, really excited to give this a shot. I struggle with these like spots all over my face constantly and vitamin C serum is like one of the only things that I have found actually like takes them away it's crazy really really excited to give this a shot I'm literally gonna go try it right now let's go try I literally don't think I can ever go back to not having like a medicine cabinet in my bathroom mirror because this shelf is literally the perfect height for filming and there's a mirror inside of it amazing we're gonna go ahead and try this. I just washed my hands. It says to put it on um, clean skin. I like just got out of the shower, so it's clean. And follow the moisturizer and SPF during the day. So we're gonna go ahead. It's a much different consistency, I feel like, than any of the other um, vitamin C serums I've used. It's, I feel like, more like an oil, so maybe that's what it means by waterless, but it definitely is like sinking into my skin nice. And it feels good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a moisturizer over it. I'm just going to use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It's kind of just like my go-to. Lock it in. So far, it's a 10 out of 10. We'll see, I will keep checking in with you guys and I'll let you know how it's working with my skin, but let me get you up close and personal. My skin isn't that bad right now. I really think that Dermalogica 
um, cleansing stuff. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you what I have. I have the Dermalogical Special Cleansing Gel. That's like the second one. And then this first one is the Pre-Cleanse. This is what melts all of your makeup and dirt and all of that stuff down. Um, so I really feel like my skin's kind of freaking out right here because I dermaplaned on dry skin, which don't do. But for the most part, like my cheeks, I usually have so much like red pigment um, like spotting going on and really it looks not bad for once so I think that maybe I'm finding my skincare routine I don't know I'm also should have your skincare coming very soon you guys know that I loved that in the past and I just ran out of it and I was like okay I need to get more of it because that also made a huge difference in my skin I really really loved that again I feel like that was kind of like one of the only skincare like regimens that I've tried that actually like made a difference. And it's so easy, it's like a three step routine. So I think a two step routine at night, three step in the morning. So super easy to do every day. So that's my little haul. Hey guys. Long time no see. Um, it's already into the next week, but I never finish off this vlog and I have random clips that I wanted to include. So I figured I would just uh, walk you through, let you know what the heck is going on. And I have a little unboxing here, so we'll just do it all together. Okay. I don't remember where I finished vlogging, but, um, we went home for my grandma's surprise birthday party this past weekend. I have little clips here, so I'll put that in. 20 minutes left, baby. Oh Happy birthday! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Thank you. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> It was so much fun. My whole mom's side of the family was there. We haven't all been together in like literally years. So it was just so nice to finally all be together and see everyone. And I just had the best time. So that was great. Everything's going fab. And then <laughs> Sunday hits and everything goes downhill. So I kind of like let you guys know what happened um, on my story like very briefly. And there's not much more to the story. So I'll just explain maybe in words it'll you know make more sense and I'll just you know I feel like I have to explain why I literally have a toilet paper roll around my neck so I've been having like pretty severe neck pain for like the past several several months I think it started like in July and if you guys have been watching me you probably know that that's why I've been going and getting massages and stuff like that so I started going to the chiropractor in about like I think the end of July. We got Tino the beginning of July and then I think I started going to the chiropractor at the end. So I don't know exactly when the neck pain started. I was always thinking it was because of Tino and I was constantly looking down at him, which it still could be, speaking of. Can you wait one minute, buddy? So I kept blaming on Tino. I kept going to the chiropractor and like telling them that I had this neck pain, but I definitely think it started more after I started going because I went in and I didn't have neck pain. Like I explained them like why I was there, explained to them why I was there, like my pain, whatever. And I didn't go for neck pain, it went for back pain. They completely fixed my back pain, but I have a 
very strong feeling that my neck pain started when I started going to the chiropractor. And I'm not even saying it's like their fault that they did a bad job because I could have had something like underlying that like it just brought to light, which I feel like is probably the case. So yeah, neck pain started July. And it's mostly just like really, really sore muscles. I get huge knots like all in my neck, like the base of my head, like just like really like like painful and uncomfortable. But like, I mean, there are a couple days uh, a month where it's completely intolerable and I'm like in tears and pain. But for the most part, you know, I go on with my everyday life. I'm not comfortable at all. I haven't been comfortable since like July, so it's not been fun. But like, I don't have a primary doctor right now because we're in the middle of moving. And so like, I just haven't had anyone to go to. So I've just sucked it up. Like I do most of my pain and gone on with my life. And the massages really help when I go. So I'm like, okay, we'll just keep doing the massages, whatever. I thought my neck was getting better last week. When we were driving home from the Cape, I was like, why do I feel like I haven't like thought about my neck at all last week or like not much. So I was like, sweet, maybe I'm finally at the end of this. Sunday morning, I wake up <laughs> and I'm in the most excruciating pain of my life. I couldn't move my arms. I couldn't move my neck. There was shooting pain like the worst, like, I, like I've never had pain like this. And I feel like I have a pretty high pain tolerance, so that's why, like, most things I just suck it up and move on. This was not suck upable. <laughs> I was, like, full on in tears. I feel like I also don't really cry over pain. Like, I literally, my pain tolerance is very good. And I was in tears. One of my biggest fears is going to the ER. I've always said I'm not going to the ER. I don't even know why, because I don't mind going to any other doctor or whatever, but ER, not for me. And that's where I ended up. So, just to give you an idea of the amount of pain that I was in. So, basically, long story short, they did a CAT scan, they did a bunch of stuff, and they think that my spine, like my neck, spine in my neck is super straight and I'm afraid that I kind of did that to myself because I asked my um, masseuse what sleeping without a pillow could do because I asked around and I got a couple responses saying like to try sleeping without a pillow to fix my neck pain and I felt like it helped for a while but when I talked to him about it he was like absolutely do not do that you could straighten out your spine like lose the curve in your spine that's the last thing you want to do so I was like sick so I have a feeling that happened. So I just thought I'd put that in there because I had quite a few of you like recommend it. I'm not blaming you. I'm just warning you don't do it because I don't want this to happen to you. And yeah, essentially my muscles are so inflamed and swollen and just angry that they're pinching every nerve in my neck, sending insane shooting pains through my neck, down my arms. Yeah, really fun stuff. So I feel like it sounds maybe from the outside coming in that it's like, oh, it's muscles in your neck and a pinched nerve. I've had pulled muscles before and sore muscles and pinched nerves before. This is on another planet. Like the worst pain I've ever been in in my life. So, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a little update. Take care of your necks, ladies and gents. Long story short, I'm on muscle relaxants to help with that. And I have this beautiful neck brace that is way too big for me because it's a one size fits all. And so it's currently like shutting off my hearing. <laughs> my ears hurt so bad. My jaw hurts so bad. My TMJ is flaring right now. That's that. So, I mean, Technically, I'm fine. The pain is has definitely subsided a bit. I also feel like I have a frozen shoulder right now from I don't know what I literally can't lift this arm still. So that's cute and fun. Um, being me is a lot of fun, if you couldn't tell. Thank you so much to all of you. I tried to respond to all of the messages on Instagram and I think I got to the majority of them, but so many of you guys reached out and were just sending me well wishes and your love and I appreciate it so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are the absolute sweetest. So yeah, we're just gonna be taking it easy and I'm probably gonna be wearing this thing for quite some time because it definitely helps when I'm wearing it. It hurts everything else in the area, but it definitely helps. And I also feel like when I wear it, it's been like relieving my migraines, which is crazy, which is why I think maybe I had like an underlying neck thing all along. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But I just thought I'd update you guys and finish off this vlog. But 
first, we're gonna do a little unboxing haul to end this on a lighter note. I'm so excited for this package. I... <laughs> It's from the brand Bone, and I'm so thrilled to try all this on. I'm gonna be doing a whole try on <sighs> styling video, so stay tuned for that. That will probably be that will be probably going up this Friday. You guys are watching this on you're watching this vlog maybe thursday hopefully because i left my sd card at home that the rest of this vlog is on and my dad is sending it in the mail to me so hopefully i get it by thursday and can get this vlog up for you guys and then this video will be going up next friday so get excited i literally can't function Ooh. i'm really excited because i like picked out a bunch of stuff and then they sent me like a couple of things out of what i picked so i don't even really know what's here so i'm like excited it's like a surprise <laughs> okay this is so stinking cute so this first one is this little like knit tube top so cute i feel like this is gonna be one of my go-to tops so stinking cute we love basics but i i'm really trying to like elevate my basics to make them you know just like better pieces so this is literally perfect oh i'm really excited for this i hope this looks as good on me as it did on the model because i'll be sad this little green dress and hopefully you can tell so like this is the top part it has one sleeve and then a little cutout on the waist and then just goes down i'm so excited i love green i love this color I'm so excited. I feel like it's like perfect for like spring and summer. It's gonna be so cute. That might be my Easter dress. Oh, this is better than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my God. This is like the softest thing I've ever felt. When I saw this, I knew I needed it. Look how stinking cute this little crew neck is. This is gonna be the new one that I obsess over. It's, I can't even, Explain to you how soft this is like it. You know how sometimes the inside of a sweatshirt is like softer than the outside So I thought it was gonna be like one of those reverse ones, but like the inside and the outside are equally as soft. It's So soft What the heck? I'm obsessed. So cute <laughs> You guys know I'm in a blazer kick right now and this one is so pretty it's like this like creamy color. It has like beautiful buttons. I'm so excited to style this. So cute. I think they do have matching pants too, but just so you know. And then this last thing I got, this is so cute. I'm so excited. I really feel like denim is about to have a moment in the fashion industry. So it's kind of like this little like denim bomber jacket. I just think it's so cute. I think like all denim, like denim on denim outfits are gonna be really in. Canadian tuxedo, if you will. And so I'm really excited to style this and like kinda do something fun with it, so. Thank you so much to Boom for sending me all of this. If you guys want to check it out, I have a code and I have a link. I will put them all down in the description box and on the screen here. Check them out and like I said, get excited for the try on and styling haul that will be up Friday. So pumped to try this all on. That's gonna be it for this vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week in my life video. I will see you guys on Friday for another Fashion Friday video. I'm very, very excited for this one. I've been wanting to film it for weeks. My packages kept getting pushed off, so get excited for it. We are doing all things dopamine dressing and styling colorful pieces for the spring and summer. Hope you guys love it. I am very excited to hear your feedback on it, and I will talk to you guys then. I love you guys endlessly, and until the next video, stay blessed, and don't forget to live lovely. Bye.